What's up everybody, it's your boy TGK back here with another video. This is my player dedicated server that I have on Ragnarok. So, I do have metal tools and I do have flak on and I do have my griffin over to the side. Well, I just wanted to show you guys basically a fast build because I'm actually limited to what I can record. Um, basically what I'm going to be showing you guys is basically um, what I did on personally. So when the Ragnarok servers do come out for official, because I know there's only like four out right now. This is, a, this is a Prim Plus PvE server so you can build and have fun. I will be having more footage um, later down the road um, in this video of what it actually can look like for Prim Plus. It's very cool. It's very nice. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So this Dodo's being a little ass, and then I'm going to have another peg of ma mastics, whatever they're freaking called, steal my standing torch. I had to go try to kill him, but I'm trying to build stuff, and it gets all the place. So basically, what I'm getting right now is wood, thatch, and fiber. That's going to make, uh, that's going to help you build your basic wood foundations, doors, door frame, ceilings. And standing torches, which you would need stone and flint as well. I believe flint. I think it's stone, but you know what? Uh, I just sound like a complete noob for that. Uh, but here, when you guys first start, get a campfire, hatchet, spear, club. If you're playing PvP, get those four first. Get you some armor. Get yourself a water skin. That's the first row right there for you. Then, get yourself the thatch buildings and then the sleeping bag. Get a small storage. Go from there. Get that spark powder, get that narcotics, and get that mortar and pestle. I always like to go for the standing torches. It's a bed, spyglass, and then bow for sure, and bolas, and all that other stuff. Premium Plus, you do get extra stuff, like a stone knife, uh, freaking meat, all this other cool stuff. Uh, hanging lamp posts, uh, weird storage containers, cooking, uh, bread maker, all this other stuff, and it's freaking cool. I was literally sitting for literally three and a half hours today going through everything, trying to learn everything on how everything goes, and I'm still kind of cuckoo for Cocoa Puss for this stuff. It's absolutely insane. Well, so what I did is that what you guys are about to see is literally what my, I am, uh, me and my friends, uh, Hall and, and everyone else are pretty much, we're going to be making a village uh, so everyone can come and hang out, have fun, and you know, we're going to be doing events and stuff. So this stuff is spawned in because I want to learn more about it. Um, I will be building um, an actual, actual base, uh, legitly, which I will be doing like day one, day two, all that good stuff here. Uh, basically, I know, like, number one rule to you guys is I want to exactly tell you guys this why. Okay. Never in a million years build on a beach. Don't do it. Alarm clock needed. Do not build on a beach on a PvP official or player dedicated server, especially official, especially if you want to get big. Okay, I've had my experiences and it's absolutely a no, no, no. Okay, that's how big I'm going to put the no on it. No! Okay, it's one, it's a spawn. Two, freaking anything, can, you know, people with boats. Uh, people go and doing meat runs. They always I like to stay to the beach because they're you know too scared to go inland And plus it's more safer on the beach not necessarily, but it is safer um, But yeah build inland try to hide yourself But build how I'm building it now. I didn't want to hide myself. So you guys could be like whoa, you know, what is he trying to do? Get your base up first. I made the mistake. I should have put the door on first get the first layer of walls first excuse me get that door on so nobody can jump in place down your stuff place down your smithy place down your craft whatever storage containers whatever it is okay then what you're gonna have to do is start getting that metal okay it, it will in that case for print bluff it, it, it's like steel um, it's more like official type stuff um, I like to go straight for a campfire, uh, go kill a dodo or so, get that hide so you can start building some metal spike walls. I don't do it in here, I just want to show you guys the basics on for the basic wood base. So that's what I would definitely have you guys do here. Um, also, like I said, you guys can see me wearing flak. <laughs> the gods have given me the flak and the dodo head. No, I'm just playing. But anyways, like I was saying, I'm getting off track. Yeah, 
and then immediately go from stone, I mean wood, I usually don't even do wood, I just go straight to stone because you just need stone to do that stuff. And a Pegomastic just stole my freaking standing torch and I'm trying to run after it, but obviously Ark just kind of screwed me over because I'm making something. I'm like, get your ass over here, boy. Get your, get your booty over here. I'm trying to get that too. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm coming for you, boy. Here we come. Oh, you, oh, you stuck now. Oh yeah, you stuck now, Billy boy. Oh, but he doesn't die. Why? Because he's a 135. 135. But you know what? I'm, I, I'm gonna get him in the water. I'm about to drown him. I'm gonna drown him to the gods of water, to the Ark aliens. You're going down, boy. You're going down. Okay, I'm just, you know, okay, whatever. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eventually kill this thing. I don't know why. I should just let him take the standing torch. But you know, some people are really, you know, they, they need that standing torch for survival, especially for official. Um, I don't know why he didn't sink to the bottom. Thought that was kind of funny. Couldn't access his inventory for some reason, but once I killed him, I could. Well, I'm about to run back here. Yeah, I shake my head. No, <laughs> it's kind of funny. So whenever you guys see me shake my head, um, I do have to do it on Upload Studio. So I have to talk through the video video while I'm I uploaded it. If that makes sense. So basically, when I'm in game, I just do it, and then I just kind of do a voiceover. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty much the basics that I'm going to be showing you guys here. Just get this base up, get that stuff going, get that metal smelting. The faster you get metal up, the faster you get metal tools, the better you guys get metal tools, the more resources you get. Just, I, this is a boosted server, so you guys are going to see that. Officially, you're only going to get maybe about three to four more, but that's three to four more closer than anything else. So what we're going to go ahead and do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and light this bad boy up. I'm going to go put a campfire outside, put some meat in it, get yourself some food. Your character's health will go down if you do not have food. It, it's all bad. It's, it's just crazy. Well... We're about to go ahead. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a teleport, okay? Some science stuff. Okay, we're about to teleport over to my other base, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what's going on. So this is the last look of the base. What You know, basic. Everyone knows how to do it. He's like, what the hell, noob? You know, but this is what we're going to go ahead and do. Well, here we are, guys, with the base. So this is the Thames that uh, definitely you should have um, on Ragnarok. You know, get your health some... some Healers, get yourself some melee animals, fly animals. Uh, we got some little teepee huts here. Those, you can actually fast travel these. They do not decay. Uh, there's my base. Those two oil containers there. I'm going kind of fast. Sorry, guys. So this is my base. It looks like stone and like the actual lumber. Well, it overlapped itself, which I think is amazing. We got the concrete mixers there, so you can make some concrete uh, flooring. I don't have those yet. Storage boxes, those three there. A cauldron to the right. Uh, we got, you know, cabinets. We got fiber for clothes. We got cooking stuff there. Really nice detail. We got ourselves a building. Two metal safes. Um, and then basically, yeah, always shut your doors. That, that's number one. That's a wood rack there. A couple gri um, griffins. Uh, the, this is my wall that I made. You know, I just was messing around with it. But the reason, now get these large stone walls because you cannot go up the, like it's impossible to jump unless you have like really good stuff. This is the market you guys, this is pretty cool, you know, I get trying to make some like look, you know, realistic and stuff. I'm about to show you guys uh, the wall and I will actually go more in depth with the wall. Uh, I would definitely love your guys' comments and see how good like your guys' opinion on that. I think it's pretty cool, it's... Out of the normal, I'm about to put some more stuff to it, so it's going to pop more, like windows, railings, all that good stuff. Uh, what I'm going to show you guys now is some villages that my uh, friends are actually making here. This is my buddy Hall. Uh, he's temporarily helping me with all the material and all that good stuff. This is a random base that uh, is being built. That's Hall's base. He just messed it up. Looks like a freaking Master Chief's forehead. See, I'm shaking my head because I don't like it. I'll fix that. Don't worry, guys. This is another base. I thought there was something in it, but not. But, you know, he's doing a pretty decent job. But we're going to go ahead and um, do that, guys. If you guys like today's video, please like and subscribe. Until then, you guys, peace.